I'm excited about the opportunity to establish this great and historic community as a cultural arts district in the city of Houston along the Lyons Avenue corridor. The Fifth Ward Community Redevelopment Corporation has spent the last 30 years comprehensively redeveloping and revitalizing this community. We've done lots of planning, so our work is balanced by a combination of passion and science that dictates the strategy and the path that we will take to redevelop this historic and wonderful place many of us call home. The Lions Avenue is part of a renaissance, a 22 block endeavor that stretches from Jensen to Lockwood that will integrate arts, culture, affordable housing development, commercial development, business opportunities for our small business and opportunities for us to study, grow, learn and play together. What you see is a diverse community of people who are sitting there enjoying that park. Their children are playing together and you see an outward expression of what community really, really is. Lions Avenue Renaissance Festival, uh, man, it's our event. <laughs> this is our carnival. This is our day to express many, many cultures that you, you only will find in Fifth Ward. You've got local, you've got uh, people from abroad, you know, it's it's really becoming a multicultural deal and uh, it's, it's a real good deal for the community. The Deluxe Theater, as an example, has been restored in 2015 and has brought life back to Corridor Lions Avenue. We saw the Deluxe Theater as a good place uh, to be the genesis of an art district and, and to revitalize that, uh, that facility and make it a 125 seat house uh, uh, would be an opportunity to bring at least performing and visual arts back into the community and to create this cultural arts district. And institutions like the St. Elizabeth are being adaptively reused and repurposed. Everyone's looking to see what we have to offer. It's no better opportunity than now to cultivate these facilities, these people, these artists, uh, these elders that have the stories of um, how things were and how they can be even better. And uh, there's no better prime location than uh, Fifth Ward. What it did was make the kids of the generation now aware of what it was and still is. I loved it when I moved here and I still like it. I think that the Fifth Ward community has uh, historically contributed to uh, the world of art, uh, whether it is music, or whether it is performing art, or whether it is visual art. Um, so it's uh, our opportunity to share with the world uh, our expressions. We're excited that we've had so many families in the Fifth Ward serve as pioneers who have stayed the course and with open arms they welcome new people and newcomers to the community. I think it's, it's something that as a business person it just opens your market. So I look at it from my eyes, it's more people to sell to. And so I don't, I don't look at it as a negative. I'm always encouraging to come just check out Fifth Ward because there's a lot of things happening. Our response to gentrification is an opportunity for us to tell our story about this great community where so many native sons and daughters have plowed the course. People like Barbara Jordan, Mickey Leland, Franco Lee, you know, all those, all those people did wonders for, you know, the country, not just Fifth Ward. I always tell people the, the, the people are what makes Fifth Ward, you know, it's a, yeah, I don't know if you walk down the street, they, they're really proud of this area. This opens so many doors for, for the community. Art, yes, but visibility to our culture, to our traditions, to our neighbor. So this is a really, really important uh, step for Fifth Ward. I stand on their shoulders to help revitalize this historic community and make the Fifth Ward a great place to live, work, and play. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am the fifth. The fifth. The fifth. The fifth. The fifth. The fifth.